Hello everybody, I'm the Wasteland Viking, and welcome back to Grounded. So, sorry I haven't been around for a while, I'm going to make a separate video at some point, kind of explaining a little bit more why, but, um, yeah, so this game fully released last week, two weeks ago, I don't quite remember, but uh, I played a bit of it, and it's a lot of freaking fun. So let's get into it, new game, I guess, uh, Arachnophobia, whatever, uh, warning because they're spooters. So uh, if you're afraid of those things, don't watch it. If you can stand it or whatnot, then please stay. But um, as far as a player like uh, thing is concerned, my name's Peter. My friends call me Pete. I feel a little bit with Pete just because he's my inner nerd. So let's start. Oh, and I haven't played it since. I don't remember what update it was, but they added, like, the crow and shit like that. So I don't know which one that is. But, uh, and whatnot. And I haven't gone that far, relatively speaking. So, oh, uh, I guess let's just do, uh, random, Jesus Christ, if I could type, random game. It's going to be put up on the Monday random video. So if people want to see more of this, like the video, also comment. Um, and things like that. You can't run from me, you foul beast! <laughs> you think you have smarted me? The mighty Muldoon? I don't think so, Yoke's Girth! Stay tuned for what happens next on Yoke's Girth. Now a word from our sponsor. Kids, are you ready for a new wild and wacky Puncho fruit flavor? Introducing Apricot. It's a punch to the gut. So stop by, fill up, and make sure you get your Billy Hog hot dog before you get away. Good morning, Brook Hollow. Today is October 20, 1990. This is your news. We have a special breaking report. The police department has released information that more local teenagers have gone missing. They were last seen earlier this week, and the only connection between the teenagers is that they are all students at Brook Hollow High School. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of other possible abductions and missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet town. If anyone has seen the teenagers or has any other information, please contact the police department. The mayor of Brook Hollow has put a curfew into effect for anyone under 18 starting tonight. Now to other news. In the business world, ominous practical technology signs a new deal Yeah, sure, have it on a timed opener or whatever. Whoa! Pete! Oh, looks like you really stepped in it this time. Oh, Just where all in right. the world are you? Hello? Hello? Alright, Pete. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Alright. Uh, it's time to do some frickin' stuff. Oh, there we go. Much better. See, when you turn off motion blur, the game feels and looks much better. There's still going to be some lag drops. For whatever reason. Signal detected. What's that? Yeah, what it is that? like a radio signal. It must be being transmitted from nearby. Wow, okay. So, they've updated shit and whatnot, obviously, but has the map changed at all as far as where things are at and whatnot, or did they have to move things around a bit? If anybody knows, please let me know. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. My scout training doesn't have a merit badge for this. And also, I'm playing on a different monitor, thanks to my brother. Because my other one's a piece of fucking shit. So I stopped 
Oh, I pretty much had to stop using it. It was so bad. Hey, a common example of the Fermicidae family. Okay, I'm a nerd, but I'm not like that kind of nerd. I'm more of just like, hey, I like Warhammer and D&D. Uh, &D. So, you know. Right, got to do research and stuff. Mutations are there still. I doubt recipes have changed, but who knows. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember that being on at all in general. Sort resource surveyor? Thanks for the granola bars, I guess. Anyway. Well, logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Sure. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. Or some one. Science! Science! Alright. Well, not that often. It's not like I've played it as much as I played Skyrim, but, you know. Alright. Peblet Spear and Peblet Axe. Brain power? You level up in that now? Oh. What the fuck? Increasing brain power to higher levels unlocks new crafting recipes and blueprints. The latter shown hints at what's possible with a sufficiently yoked mind. Yoked? So like, like juiced? As the cool kids would say. I'm juiced, I'm cracked, whatever you want to say. Uh, yeah, missing ingredients. Crude rope. I don't remember that being a thing. How do you make crude rope? From plant fiber. Because it used to be plant weave or something like that. It used to be a weave of some kind or whatever. Sure, let's make a couple of those. Uh, craft. Uh, E? No, not E. What's I? I is inventory, of course. I'm actually going to place it there. These can go up here. I don't like having my rocks down here. And they keep moving it around for whatever reason. Stop! Whatever. All right. Oh, I made a spear, not a fucking axe. Oh my god. I'm alright. Just need a sprig and we'll be fine. Look for more science equipment. Go home. I mean, yeah. Find water. There's one up there. Oh, let's craft that then. Ah, shit. There we go. Sorry. Need to get used to the controls. Water filtration tablets needed. Nope. All right. I guess base building time first. More like I could look over there at the thing. Oh. Right. You have to click. I was holding it just to hold it. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley, so it's easier just to hold the stuff instead of using all your goddamn stamina to do things. Oh yeah, it has. Let's analyze that. Who were murder? Oh, deciphered. So I guess just a faster way to learn things without needing the resource? Question mark. I like the spiky clubs and stuff, especially in solo. I pre I'd rather tank damage than, you know, carry more. Stuff for hauling or things like that. Also, I'm going to try to go nowhere near the spiders. Until I have at least acorn armor and... Maybe the first spiked club thing? I might wait until I actually get the ant mantible one or whatever. Hello, ladybug. How are you? Um, I have not fo fought the wolf spider yet. Um, I've seen a lot of people play it, and it's like, it randomly shows up at their camp or whatever. I've never had that happen. So, I don't know if it's like you kill X amount of spiders and it shows up, or you actually go to a certain area and it shows up, or what. I don't know, I haven't been able to find it. Or... That's a soldier ant. Wow, I can really tell the difference from here. So the soldier's ant, soldier ants aren't aggressive unless you attack them, right? Or do are they just territorial anyway, so they attack? I don't know. Usually, last I played, they just stayed inside. Not a whole lot actually happened for it. Uh. 
All right, let's also research these. Oh, there they are. They're up there. Got one more. So I think they dropped six normally, or did they change it? Oh yeah, it's still six, okay. Cool. that's about it and then I'll research this and I think it makes the plank and weed stem rack things doesn't it pretty sure it does oh there it is science yeah, the holders or whatever they're called. Scaffold. I, I never use scaffolding. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you have, you know, multiple structures you want to do shit outside. Hello. Mark, yonder lady of the clover forest. On what errand does the day find you? Alright. Base first, and then... Honestly, after that, I'm more comfortable doing stuff. I'm not going to worry about a roof quite yet. Usually, I like doing that in this process as well. But, you know. Don't necessarily have to do it. Um, da -da 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 -da. Just trying to find a good one so it doesn't... Okay. I like aesthetics, alright. The fuck? Okay, there we go. The game was like, I'm not sure if it's still standing or not, so I'm just not going to make it crumble into planks. It is fair. And also, yeah, I haven't played this in a minute, so as far as, like, sounds and whatnot, to me it sounds kind of new-ish still, even though it's not at all. But, uh, yeah. Sprig. Spiked Sprig. That's the weapon that I like the most. This does a fuck ton of damage, and chance of stunning is a lot higher than other weapons, so might as well. I like it. Also, is there a weight capacity now? Oh, I've got a lot of these I chopped down. It's, a, it's weird how much or little actually shows from when things fall. So unless you keep track exactly where it's fallen, you have no fuck idea where it went. So now I just need, what, three for this? Two. Alright. Has there... <laughs> is there any that I haven't seen yet that have fallen? Um, doesn't look like it in the distance. And I've been pretty close, so I would see it by now. It's so no. Quite late. I know. I should construct some shelter and get some sleep. Don't worry, I will. I mean, I understand why they had done what they've done. Uh, it's just so that, like... I don't know, I guess ease of use or some shit like that. I don't know. I liked finding stuff for myself, though, rather than having these showing me where things are at. Oh, right. This kind of shit. Um, can I... Oh. Fair enough, I guess. Oh, there's one in here the whole time. That's alright. And one out there. I didn't see it. Um, I would be playing with this with friends, but I think only, like, one of them actually has the game. I'm sure the other ones could get it if they wanted to, but I don't know. It's just me, myself, and I today. Um, and the roasting spit. Sure, why not? Put it over here, I guess. Right, and then ants, I think. Like, coming in, and if things are outside, doesn't matter what it is, food or not, they come and take it, so you need to be careful about that. And then three clover leaves. Right, I can make the clover armor now, which I think enhances your stamina, I think. Gives you stamina boost and shit. Because I know the the acorn armor gives you health boost. Not quite health regeneration, because that'd be cool, but it'd be a little OP. And then people wouldn't be making frickin' healing salves or anything like that, so... Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, uh, we could light it whenever we want, I guess. I don't have anything for it yet, though. Oh, you have to light it to cook stuff, I forgot. Oh, yeah, and you can relocate stuff, too, as well. All right. You'll wake up in the dark. Oh, so it's not the... I'll just set respawn point, then. It's interesting. So last I played, it was still the whole thing of, oh, you just can't sleep past 8 p.m. or whatever anyway, so... Yeah, um... Right. Water. Need water. If I have to, I'll just drink out of the bad water and just grab mushrooms to do that. It's a little darker, so it'll be harder for me to see the water, kind of. Oh! The aphid uh, honeydew. Oh, right, and then the gnats. Um, where are you? Oh, there's also the juice box just over there. Fuck it, I'll just continue with the main story, I guess. Oh, there used to be a... Gnat or something like that, eating something? Sure, bud. Oh, Looks like this thing hooks up with those lasers. I don't yep, think that now? worked properly. It seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a way to fix them? Uh -huh. I was telling you how to make it. Oh, showing you about a torch and stuff. Uh -huh. Hi, Weevil. I can't uh -huh. fucking see a damn thing. Holy shit. Alright, I need to figure something out. Hold on. Alright, I think that fixed it a little bit. That's another weird thing about my brother. He always has to play with a dim screen. I mean, I I guess I understand why, but... Anyway. And also playing with a uh, ring light on rather than the ceiling light up there because it fucking shines on my head and gets distracting, in my opinion. Eventually, I'll move it over there, so then it, like, brightened up the area and I'll be getting ambient lighting at some point, but, you know. Alright, I'm thirsty. Um, the juice box is... Ah. Uh, right there. Hopefully a fucking larva doesn't show up. Because that's happened to me before, around this area. Where's your shit? Ah. There we go. Thank you. Might as well attack the weevil. Ah, shit. Cheers. Now I only take what I need from, from the juice box. I don't take everything. I do need to make the torch, though. Um, that. For craft. Right, I need a workbench. Yeah, plant fiber and sap. Let's craft that many. Okay, torch. I guess you could go in... Four, because I don't give a shit about leaving this loose. stuff around. Sure, it's... Um... Alright. Remember right. It's... Yeah, that one. Might as well get the resources. Don't need them quite yet, though. I don't remember it making this. Oh, there's more drink. Let's grab it. Might as well. The nose, the nose. Never mind. We're not getting it. Oh no, this is the Whoa, broken one. Okay, good. Stay over there, small red insect. Right. So you're able to scientifically name all these different animals, these different insects, but not a lawn mite. Jesus Christ. Shit. There's more, but it's being occupied by the cable. You jump high in this game, too. I don't remember. Oi! Backer!
Glad these aren't face huggers. That would suck. Right, and you need the hammer to get past the rock wall there. Ooh. Mold stock. I like the lights that these guys make. It's cool. Especially on the outside of uh, the base and whatnot. Oh, it's Ladybug sleeping. Okay. I thought it was like a weird weevil sound or whatever doing that. So, yeah, the the oak tree. But we need to sleep. He's damn, it's late. Sleep through the night at your lean-to. Yes, sir. Put that away. Actually, no, I'm not going to cook that yet because I'll wake up in the morning hungry anyway. Oh, it's a, just a time thing. Okay, that's cool. I thought it was going to be a cutscene of sorts. Find and eat some food, and then investigate the oak tree explosion. So I guess go home is like the main quest. That was the update that they had, the go home update. Um, which makes sense. Uh, consume? Mm, salt. So... I, I don't know how y'all feel about this in general. Copy? Oh, they've got that system now? I've only re really seen it in, like, Factorio and mods for Satisfactory and whatnot. Well, Satisfactory actually has that, and I haven't played that far into it, but, uh, which I honestly haven't. But, um, shit, what was my original thought? I forgot. Oh, yeah, Raft. Uh. Fuck you. Uh, if if I were to play Raft, I'd definitely probably try to grab some friends to play with that. None of them are YouTubers or streamers, so it's like it would just be casual playing, but, you know. Right, I need to do workbench. Acorn Shavar and Sprig Bow. Canteen, I've never used a canteen. I understand the purpose, but I just never used it. Um, oh, I guess that's for the eye patch. If I remember right, you use this in the eye patch. Actually, let's just analyze it, I guess. Yeah. Makes a bit of sense. Sorry, I'm moving camera around a lot. I guess I was just saying there aren't any things, analyze slots or some shit like that. Anyway. Um, so, here's some samp. Cloves. Right, workbench. What do we need for that? We need planks, grass planks, sprig, and sap. Alright. Well, I need to grab more sap anyway. I thought I grabbed more off of that branch. I guess I didn't. Getting, uh... Sap... Reservoir, I think it's called? I need an acorn... An acorn shell for that. Just grabbing all the shrooms that I can just for leftover food. But uh, anyway. Yeah, see, look at that. Mad hops. And damn, you could sprint for a long time. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty. Um, I also remember making a separate base sort of thing. Or whatever for my workshop. And just had a bunch of different things in there. The workbench. 
and a bunch of chests just so that ants and whatnot don't get into it. But for now, I'll just leave it in here, I guess. <clears throat> Super build. Alright, spiky sprig. Alright. <coughs> and obviously, it's slower than the freaking spear, so everybody goes with a spear because DPS and all that kind of shit. But I don't care about DPS. I like hitting things hard, but chance of stunning is super high compared to other things. Might hat. It recovers with stamina. 5% resistance. Yeah, and then hyper stamina. And oh, they also have armor classes? Wait, what? What's clover then? Oh, it was light. I just saw that derp. Never mind. Fuzz on the rocks. Drinking the disgusting combination somehow makes you healthier for a while. Need clay, so I need a shovel for clay. <clears throat> There's a smoothie station now? God damn. Actually, I may have known that before, I just didn't... I've just never made it. Red ant part? They're different kind of ants now? The fuck? Is I know, like, from where I'm at, and also commonly, I'm guessing, in the U.S. or... Whatever. Oh, I need I need drinks. Oh shit. Um, drink. Where art the? I'm assuming the dew shows up earlier in the day and then it eventually despawns as it gets warmer because that makes absolute sense. Use something to drink. I know. Shut up. I hear you. Uh, it's this one, I believe. Sweet. Don't even need to boil it. Ah, <sighs> thank fuck. Anyway, that was my bad. But, uh, red ants are kind of nasty. But, like, I remember as a kid, if you walked out barefoot in, like, gravel and stuff like that with dirt mixed in or whatnot, usually they came out and just bit the shit out of your feet. But also at the same time, obviously, we've got black ones around here as well, so I don't know what they do. I don't know if they're more docile or aggressive. Oh, right. I need a chest. I need to do some analyzing. And I remember that the red exclamation marks are the ones that you haven't researched yet. So let's do clovers. I guess we can do mushrooms for the plant. Science. For the plant? What am I talking about? For Yeah, for the planter. The mushroom planter or whatever. Um, I guess we'll also do sap. Yeah, there we go. Stem pallet and plank pallets. Thank God. It's just... Nice to keep the place, you know, neat. Right, so that's the ant armor, and then the acorn armor, I think. I mean, they they may have come out with new stuff since I've played, as far as armors and whatnot are concerned. Like, there could be a spider one, for all I know. A bee one? I don't know. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll see. Do, 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 do. Like, one thing that I enjoy about this game, and other games in general, if people haven't noticed, um, for those who have been around for a while, um, I actually really enjoy the scale of things in games. So, like, I like Warhammer because of the massive scale of the Gothic architecture and stuff like that. Well, this one, it's the complete opposite, but it's still, like, a really cool, you know, scale ratio of things so it's it's fun it's cool all right i'm almost tempted to make those stacks or the racks or whatever the hell they're called <clears throat> pallets oh they actually don't require a lot some sprigs and dry grass chunk full beans let's get some oh hello <laughs> I don't remember seeing. Breakthrough. Fuck that. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. It's cool, the FOV on that. If you sit there for a while, it focuses, but once you start moving because of the blades of grass and stuff, you can't see through it, which is pretty cool. I like that. Anyway. Let's chop some shit down. those become chunks yeah they do all right cool i like how they classified everything if it's like if it's a dead plant it ends up being dry chunks so 
Yeah, uh, other than you going to a high point, does he even attack? Or it attack? Oh, it's a raven. I thought it was a crow. Alright, cool, anyway. Oh, right. Quick build. Quick build. Oh, I need crude rope. Well, sound bitch. Okay. C, not B. Oh, V is the hot, like, that. Oh, okay. Cool. I remember using that a lot on console. Plant slurry? A thick paste of blended plant bits. In the grinder. Got a grinder? Not the app grinder. So that'd be weird. But, uh... Hey, Fid. Ha ha ha. So funny. Do, 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 do. Dirt. <laughs> Fuck, okay. That's a very different sound than what I had heard at last. It's like when you open up a chest in fucking Warzone. Do, 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 do. Uh, so investigating the oak tree, it's not very difficult to do it, but if you go in the wrong place, especially at night, uh, spiders are around. So I'd rather have a little bit of preparation, but I don't want to use my materials if I'm just going to go and get acorn. So I might not actually worry about frickin' clover armor. Alright, that's the second time I've been cucked cucked out of some water. Yay! Um... I don't know why. I guess it's just because of... the rock that it hit or something like that. It just exploded. Oh, there's another one over there. I hit E on it for some reason. Ah. Hey! Nice and clean. Actually, I'm gonna double check because I may not have looked at it very well. It's right there. Hey, extra water, sweet. <laughs> Alright. So I need a hammer. For... The stuff. Hot craft ingredient? Okay, there we go. I remember on console, I couldn't figure out what the hell that meant. It's most of my time on this game is actually on console. Because it was on, still is, on Game Pass. So actually what I'll do in the description, I will put links to where you can get it. So you can get it wherever the hell you want. Whatever you want to use. I'm pretty sure it's on Epic as well. If it's not, I'd be surprised. Actually, if it isn't, I also wouldn't be surprised because it's Microsoft. They like their very specific uh, distributors of games. Right, so it's slots, not exactly weight capacity. So I need to make a chest. Ah... Uh... Right. Storage basket. Rope and clover leaves. Alright. Can do that. Make some more of these. There we go. And I need one more clover leaf. Oh wait, what's what's about this? Hot deposit. No matching item. Oh, I see, that's cool. Right, shift click. It's like Minecraft. Cool. My back is tender. Yay. Actually, I need that sap for uh, stuff. Right, I forgot. I need to put that in other places of my inventory. Actually, no, I need the mushrooms. It's food. Um, actually, that looks pretty good. I'm all right with that. Um, this goes in... This my good hand. Anyway, um... Accessory? Yeah. Then the lion duft. A tuft. It's a tuft, not a duft. Um, yeah. Okay. Might as well eat this, I guess. Choke it down, Pete. Me complaining that I would rather use the frickin' mouse, and then I end up using the hotkeys. I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings about looking like they tried to convert it from a console to a PC as far as uh, controls, like, um, 
arrangement and stuff like that goes. <clears throat> Sometimes it looks a little weird in my opinion. It actually doesn't... It makes it look more cluttered than it needs to be. That's just me, of course. Solar charge. Science. Mushroom slurry. I'm guessing that's food of kinds, right? But also, I like this system because it encourages you to actually do research. And also, one of my favorite things as well is the frickin' mutations. I think it's awesome for that kind of thing. Why do I have this? Oh, is it because of... Wait. Hyper stamina. So you get certain bo uh, bonuses based on what you've... What you're wearing, what you're eating. And then what's this other one? I don't know. But mutations, I like it because it's it's a... An in-game reason to have achievements, essentially. Don't worry about me, bud. I ain't going to do anything to you. Anyway, so we got the hammer. We can... Actually, we could also go back into the cave and get the rock kind of stuff that you get there. The crystal knight or whatever the fuck it's called. But, um... It helps repair your things, and I believe you need it for things like the do... Um... The dew catcher and stuff like that. Um, and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, I guess it's time for me to actually get my favorite weapon. So, I'm one of those people where I, I took specific paths to get to certain places. If I go beyond that, I generally get extremely lost. Uh, a lot of it is pretty straightforward. Other than that, um, I generally try to stick with path that I took. It's like, for example, I'm going to... I'm gonna pull this out just in case some shithead decides to go... Oh, clay! I need to get a shovel. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to the thistle plants for the needles. Thistle needle or whatever the hell. Which I can do research on. I know, it's... Oh, and also the sap clusters you could also break those up with a hammer but um so far about updates and improvements that i've seen so far i'm enjoying it a lot because of it's it's very user friendly and also i feel like i can actually do stuff not that i hadn't before with this game but oh what the fuck oh, okay that's actually scary oh shit get out of there oh get out of there oh 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 my god. That's another big creature over there. Probably a spider. It's still behind me. Hey, Fit, get out of the way. It's gonna kill you. Oh! Shit! That was scary. Holy shit. I thought I was done with this frights for this game. Until I meet the wolf spider, but damn. Okay. I don't think that's the way I actually went for the frickin' things. What time is it? Um, in game. 7 p.m.? Alright. Alright, I need to be a bit more careful. I was just sprinting all willy-nilly. Is that a termite mound? What's this? An apple? Oh, that makes sense. But anyway, to get to like the tier two tools and whatnot, I don't know how to do it. <clears throat> so, we'll see. All right, I'm going to be careful now. That oh, faking heart attack. Surprised there isn't a spider. Oh, there's a spider over there, somewheres. I see the web. I'm surprised. Isn't that snore the spider snoring? Also, I've never stealthed in this game. I haven't found a need to. Yeah, I think we're in spider territory. And I completely forgot where the thistle plant was. So, yay. Tremor detected. Something's afoot. Wait, what? What? 
Oh. It's the little, uh, dudes. Those dudes. You know what I'm talking about, the dudes. Holy god. That thing was fast, whatever it was. It wasn't an aphid. <laughs> and night mode. Oh, it may have been an aphid. It just moved really you damn quick. There's bound to be more of them. Oh, right, spiderlings. Come at me, bro. That's not the big spider. Healthy, yeah, no kidding. Alright, I think it's time to head back home because, uh, fuck this noise. Chop can. Or it might be a ladybug. Yeah, definitely not a naturally occurring structure. Unless crystals come with computers now. Sure. My keen deductive reasoning suggests that is where the signal's coming from. Uh, where though? Oh! Soda drop. I discovered a soda drop. Cool. Oh, right. Spider silk. Now we can get stuff like the catcher. Penny wheel. Silk rope. I don't want to pull out my torch because I don't want to attract anything that I don't want drawn to me, but... So far, I don't think it's an issue. I th oh, there's some... Thistle? Oh, that's a bombardier beetle or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Tree is just right there. Oh, shit. Okay. Jump. Thank you. Oh, that's just the grub. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more water at night, even. Alright, should be fine. Let's grab some more. Damn, nighttime scary. I saw the beetle go off that way. So I don't know if it's on a patrol route or what. What? I don't want to fight. Actually, that may have been a larva. I sure the fuck hope not, though. Wow, I don't want to. I've never seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon crime. Huh, catchy name. So I know there's a place where larva like to show up. They're nice, but they poison the shit out of you. So if you don't have it's no grub, it's a larva. Yep, that's what it is. Shit, 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 shit. I'm lost, I know that. My mom always says I light up a room. Oh, funny. Okay. Still oak tree there. M. Map. Duh. I'm a freaking Egypt. Yeah, so we just need to head west. And this... The mouse... Mouse movement and maps to me... Sometimes intuitive, sometimes not. To me, I don't feel like that's very intuitive. With how they did it. Oh! Here's the uh, punch box. The juice box. Okay. So we're just over here then. Okay. Um. Right, that's just me making the noise. Okay. I think we can sprint home. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Ant. What up? How much longer does the aphid have? A bit, actually. We're good. I can have it in the morning. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Also, I've seen spiders just randomly attack people's houses, so I'm trying to be a little careful with what I do.
Just close your eyes and imagine it's a fruit powder. Sure, that's exactly what it is. Um, yeah. So I know I can also upgrade these to the weed stem ones, which actually is my favorite. It looks really nice. Howdy. Wow, very active in the morning, these people. All right. Don't even need to boil it. The spiky sprig. And then craft. Thank you. I know it's still a tier one weapon, but in my opinion, it's still better than the uh, spear. I made it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It is. Okay, never mind. I'm just being an idiot. See, look at that thing. Freaking huge. And it stuns. And obviously, the one with the ant mantibles are is better. But uh, you have to kill the ants to do that. If anything, it's also spider ants. Soldier ants, not spider ants. That'd be freaking terrifying. Oh, yeah, spike trap. I forgot. That'd be cool, actually. Yay, leveled up in brain power. Yeah, red ant arm guards, knee guards, and helmet. Um, and I believe the ant set is what gives you the hauling ability. It's one per piece. So if you have all three, you could carry up to eight, you know, planks or weed stems, which is pretty cool, pretty good. By the way, I like this thing. You can't carry a torch with it. So actually, I should. I'll keep the spear just because. In case I need to use it for... Torchlight, but this thing fucking wrecks house, so I'm going to use it more often. All right, oak tree we go. It's just to the east here, not very far. We're good on needs. Also, I wish it told you which one it came from. Just well fed, I guess. And a meal. The slow health regeneration. Okay. So I'm guessing that's all just from the aphid that I had this morning. So. Works out. Alright. I'm not used to seeing this map. Where's the... Wait, you could go... Wait. This is a huge ass map. What the hell? They've updated this game so much. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's as far as I've gone. The, the tree... I believe is right here. Ouch. Yeah, I'm not prepared for that. <clears throat> At all. There's more. Shit. Alright. It's fucked off for now. Actually, I could just look. Oh, I need. They're. The larvae is between me and the tree. Yay. But no, that stink bug freaking terrified me. See, this is new. I've never seen this. I've I've heard that they've updated it to where there are also uh, things like fish, maybe, in the fish pond. There's a bombardier bug. There is an ant, a pretty little ant. Um, no, yeah, I don't know. They've updated this game a lot. I don't even know what's in it for the most part. Oh. A trough. Not a trough. The spade, yeah. I saw a bite over here. That's a spoder. <coughs> no, that's a stink bug. Okay. Come here, you bastards. I don't need any more of your fuzz. So I guess combo attack, the third one is like a power attack of sorts without using much stuff. Peep a creature. Taking a look. Oh. What? That's a thing now? Right here. I guess that's cool. 
I don't I have no use for that, but that's kinda cool. Oh! There's an acorn. Couple of acorns. I'm I'm worried what's behind that. Uh anyway. Inventory. I didn't make the hammer, I thought I did. If I remember right. Oh my health is low. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. Hopefully no bees attack me because fuck that noise. So, health. I can make one of those. I can make two of them. Cool. And I need to use one of them. Because yay. So, I understand about peeping a creature. But, why isn't that... Why isn't that tutorial bit going away? Anyway, I'm going up here to heal and to craft the Hama. Alright, so now... So tab is the previous menu we're at. It doesn't actually do anything outside of that. This, I guess, will go in four. And then the torch. Unless that's specifically for torch. No, it's not. And then... Torch, you can go in five. <clears throat> Try to be a little organized here. Oh, that would have hurt if I did not land that. Okay. So we got some acorns down here. Also, from what I remember, you have like a blocking stamina kind of idea. So you can only block so many times before... You can't block anymore until you reset it, kind of idea. Oh shit. Wait, I thought I stumped. I thought I killed that one. Huh. Alright, cool. So now all my inventory things are over there. It'd be cool if you could, like, befriend the ants more than... than what appears to be there. And have them, like, follow you and attack shit and whatnot. That'd be cool, but I don't know. I think the idea is to not sprint all that much because they'll obviously notice you. And two, if you stay away enough in general from it, it should be fine. Right? Yeah, okay, I'm staying away from you. Alright, so acorn time. And also, Acorn gives you food. Wait. Cracked rock. Requires explosive. Probably from the Bombardier. Bug, because that makes sense. <coughs> Alright. Time to go back home. Bombardier Beetle, put on your peepers. Oh. I guess that's just like a fun sort of way of saying obviously look out so then when you're playing with people you could just do that kind of thing all right just gonna grab some extra water grab you for food and get the feck out of here because screw these larvae the larva whatever you want to call them also, the music in this game obviously is ambient. It's really good, though. Come here. Yeah, there's the Limo... <coughs> Limo Chime or Chum or whatever the hell it's called. Limo Crisp, I think, is actually the term for it. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to find these. I mean... I could, 
Well, actually, it would be smart to find it, because then I could be out here in the field, obviously, and analyze things and build things rather than just waiting for shit to happen to me, or go all the way back home. That's the point of these, so I might as well use them, I guess. <clears throat> I like being at the safety of my house while I'm doing shit, but, you know, whatever. I don't remember where this one's at, if I've even found it before. It might... Oh! Well, here's the tree. Part of the tree, anyway. Yeah, we're actually outside of it. Never mind. It's pretty easy to find. And there should be a lab around here somewhere. It looks like we were kind of close to it over here. I guess. So I want to do acorn armor as soon as possible. I don't understand how this reader works. Fuck you. Larva spike, you can get a larva dagger, which poisons, and it's actually really good. And also I got an acid gland, I guess. Yeah, let's actually make it here, I guess. The oak base, if you will. <clears throat> Alright. Still, so I... Do I know how to make this? I don't think so. Oh yeah, the weevil knows. Uh, it's you make a legit gas mask so you can protect your nose and stuff from the smell of stink bugs. Seven, cool. It's a fuck ton of sap though. I wonder if they come back because if they don't come back, it's kind of it's not a waste, but it feels like one. I know there's a freaking thing around here somewhere. I guess let's actually break this up. What happened to the acorn chunks or whatever? Gives you food and whatnot. I don't know. I have a feeling there's... Is that an egg sack? Spider egg sack? Huh. Interesting if it was. Would be kind of cool, though, actually. Not gonna lie. So this is a pretty safe way of actually getting behind... Sorry, uh, to get behind the fence without being all weird and going through hardcore spider territory to do it. So, like, I could go in there and fuck up the spiders if I want to, but guess what? I don't. I really don't. Wait, is that a hornet? Wait, hold up. That's new to me. Or was it just a bee at a weird angle? Sounded like a loud weevil. But no, yeah, the thing was off over there. I heard it. It's just... I don't know. The tracker to me is actually kind of dumb. Unless there are upgrades you could get for it from Bugle. Burgle, I meant. Not Bugle. Burgle. Um, then to me, it's pointless, actually. I mean, I guess it, it helps you detect where one is about, but as far as actually finding one, it doesn't do any good. It's annoying for me and to me. It's just annoying. So usually the spiders like hanging out in places like that. And the explosion that we need is up and around over here. There's still the grub, which you need the acorn shovel for. That must have been a pretty broken one, because I don't remember breaking that. Yeah, no spider there. Cool. It's actually an easy and safe way to actually get around these places. Without doing too much work. Yeah, there's a lab tucked around here somewhere. I think it's surrounded by spiders, straight up. But, uh... It's a big spider. I don't think I'm high enough level to take on such a foe. I know I'm not. Proof that stealth works, I guess. <clears throat> they need to work on the collision of these a little better. Bug rubber. 
bug rubber? What the fuck is bug rubber? Anyway. I need to quickly dash out of here. Not too fast, though. I thought they were asleep. Did they change their schedule to where they sleep during the day and sleep at night and then active at night? Because last I played it, it was the opposite. Anyway, the workbench is over around here somewhere. <clears throat> Old anthill, cool. Buzz fuzz, might fuzz, I've got that at home. Damn it. I forgot that I muted my mic. So anyway, my talk is that the armor is making me more attracted. Well, enemies are more attracted and wanting to attack me, but the point is that you get tanky. And also, substantial stamina increase required to swing weapons, so you can actually swing faster. I didn't record for all that long, and I'm thirsty. Oof. Oopsie daisies. Um, I was paused, so I don't know if that continued on with things, and I wish that tutorial for peeping a creature would be gone. I wonder if it's a multiplayer sort of thing where it goes away when it's actually effective towards other people and whatnot, but I don't know. I don't care either. Okay, so there's... Oh, multiple things to drink there. Cool, cool, cool. So my aggro range is increased by I don't know how much, but a lot. So larva, spiders. So I think sneaking is almost irrelevant if you want to play it that way. All right, I need to head this way. Sorry, whenever I'm out of menus, my DPI fucking shoots through the roof for whatever reason. I found a couple of these bases, the analyzing station, so I'm not worried about it at all, for the most part. <clears throat> yeah, so my overall defense is actually quite high. Actually... Oh, they, that's smart. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm going back home because that's where all of my equipment is at. Once again, I'm trying to be careful, and luckily all the, all of the things make all the noises. So, it'll be easier to not get jumped on. Unless it's just right there like the fucking stink bug was. So that was terrifying. Hello. Yeah, now I'm taking very little damage, which is nice. It's the way I like to play. Actually, I might just be able to make what I need for the things right here. I mean, I'm almost home anyway. See, that's kind of the annoying thing, is that the map isn't... It's massive because of scale, but as far as if you know where to go and shortcuts and whatnot, it's actually not that hard to get to. One of these days, I'll have to make the gas mask and actually go in the... Which is really cool, by the way. There's an area where it's the home of the stink bugs, pretty much. But it's just a poisonous cloud everywhere you go. And infected, like, creatures come out and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's kind of like a freaking Fallout situation. It's really cool. Yeah, so there we go. There's the thing, and then head left. All right, is there anything I haven't analyzed yet? Actually, yeah, a few things. <clears throat> yeah, gas mask. I haven't cared much for the trophy system. You can analyze the food? Weevil shield? What? Huh. Interesting. Liquid Rage. I guess it's an upgrade to Liquid Courage. Grub. Oh, Grub Armor? The shit does that do? Anyway, I actually need to cook this Weevil, and speaking of Weevils... So I think I'll just make an open base out there. Uh, by... The or Acorn? By the Oak? Pretty cool, though, actually. Anyway, I need five of these. Right.
Oh, I thought there was one in here. Okay, whatever. Hey, what does the grub do? Stamina, and it's medium armor, so it actually holds up pretty well. We have the gas mask. Gas guard. Stink bug part. Nat fuzz, things like that. Nearby storage in range. Oh, so do you just store the stuff in there and... Oh, that's cool. Finding new things every day. It's fun. Oh, I'm just an idiot. It's just a very long time to freaking do that kind of thing. Okay, never mind. And then craft that. Cool. Helmet. Feeling a little safe now. I feel a lot safer now, actually, because of that. And then uncrackable. You're a tough nut to crack and hard to stun. Perfect. So weak hand. I'm wonder. Oh, that's probably where the like the weevil shield and things like that goes. Man, this game's just so cool. <clears throat> It's like a very modern idea, so it's not out of the realm of possibility for things you could do. But at the same time, it feels that way, though, too, because it's like, it's not revolutionary or anything like that, but it's, I don't know. It's just cool. It's just cool. I don't know how to explain it. I'm terrible at explaining how I feel about things, but it's just so cool. Um. Okay, so that's, yeah, larva blade, grub hide, things like that. Yeah. Speed is ridiculous. You also poison stuff. Very minimum damage and stun. But you don't need that if you're going to fucking attack things. Block strength. Oh, nice. Actually, that's not a bad thing to make. Can you hold, have a two-handed weapon and also use it? Because it could be like a buckler. Liquid rage. <clears throat> Increases attack and heals. Damn. All sorts of dangerous things in drinkable form. Consuming this makes you feel way stronger. Spider fang and red ant mandibles and larva spike. Damn, this shit's cool. Okay, grub hide and then weevil stuff. So let's tack some weevils and get some grubs. It says weak hand, so I don't know if... I mean, obviously it means offhand, essentially. So you could place a torch there and things like that. But, I'm just testing it out, testing the waters a bit. Quite frankly, if I'm being smart, I don't just do stuff just do stuff during the day and kind of when it's light out. He's traveling at night is terrifying, obviously, because you can't see a damn thing. Most things are asleep, but still, you just don't know. You never know. So if I could have that and have increased block strength, strength hey, is if you saw when I was fighting the larva, there was that bar next to the shield. And when that hits zero, that's when you take damage because you just can't block anymore. But obviously, it resets when you're not blocking. So it's... You have to do it kind of quickly and that kind of thing, but... You just get used to it. Anyway, weevils. Uh, weevils are in random places, of course, as y'all saw. We could just go back to the uh, oak tree. So that'd be the easiest place to go to. And get stuff in between. And we've also got the workbench there, of course. Oh, wait. I need to grab the meat. Yeah, fuck you. No, you're not getting that. Sorry, bud. Once again, not attacking the ants yet. Hi. You will die soon. I wonder what the health bar means. In case you haven't noticed, there were lines that divides up the health bar. I wonder if that's the threshold for taking less damage or things like that. Got that. Now we need Grub Hub. Damn it. They're just so fast. Never mind. If I didn't miss that first one, I probably would have gotten it just fine. Get fucked. By some spiders. I know there's some clay over there, so I'll probably grab some at some point as well. I don't need these anymore. I've got freaking 20 something of them at home, so. Just not gonna worry about it. I do need more sap though. I need bandages in general. And also, actually, I'm pretty close to home. I need a new torch. 
Oh, I guess I haven't actually researched them. And then I just put them straight into my thing. All right, fair enough. We'll just head home then. Yeah, barely taken any health, even from all the times that I've missed the frickin' lawn mites. This armor is just really good. I enjoy it. Oh yeah, the clay. You can make clay foundations. Science! And ramp, an armor dummy, weapon wall mount, and a repair tool. Oh, repair tools are nice. Use that and sap, I think, to repair just about anything as far as walls and whatnot are concerned. Or it's that in the material. I don't remember. Yeah, slime mold torch. Cool. Um, craft. Now it should be in here. There we go. Oh, yeah. And also they're really cheap to make. So I'm okay with that. Um, where to put you? I don't I won't be using the shovel all that much. And I oh oh right, because I've actually got I got this, let's put it in here. I guess it is nice to have the spear as an extra thing. It's just because it's fast. Other than that, I don't care for it. So I believe the axe actually does more damage and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. The axe is better. I'd rather just not use the fucking spear. So I'm not a DPS guy. For sure. That goes for any game in general. And like as far as... I mean, I don't play MMOs all that much either. But the ones that I do, I do like playing... Like... Tanky magic people, so... Actually... I need to grab some of those for some bandages. Like that. A fuzz on the rocks. That'd be cool to make, actually. Ooh. Can I make five of these? Fuck yeah. Let's do that. What does that mean? I don't know. I didn't do anything wrong or bad. I don't know. Anyway. So if that's the case, let's... I mean, I'll have to make multiple more of certain things it's like i need to do insect like type stuff and then just everything else um just in general actually i could make some more bandages though actually let's make one of these wait why can't i craft it oh it has to be oh it has to be in the fucking smoothie thingy majiggy yeah never mind so let's just make as many of these as we can. Cool. Got a lot. I'm happy with that. I got seven of those. Can they not stack like that? Okay. The stacking in this game is also a little weird. But I'm not going to be that hard on it as far as stuff goes because it's really good. It's a good game. It's a good game. <clears throat> Alright. And I always stay out later than what is quote unquote recommended. Oh shit. Actually, that'd be good, though. A water container, smoothie station. Actually, that's not hard to get. So I've got a couple of tops. Acorn tops. Yeah, the sap catcher. You just put that up on a fucking tree. There's one by the anthill that's actually a really good one. Uh, oh. Acorn chest. Let's go with a normal one for now. Which is nice. I've got also two hammers. So I'll put that in there. I, I knew I made one, though. That one time. Anyway, let's actually get a light in here real quick. Wherever you are. There we go. Unsupported. Why? Alright, whatever. See, that's the thing too. So it's letting you, like, it looks like you're able to make the quick thing right here, but it's not letting you do it. So you have to go and craft it anyway, and just make it. Doesn't make a damn bit of sense. I know I'm thirsty. Oh, fine, fuck off. I need to, yeah, I need to figure my life out as far as this game goes. There we go. Oh, that did fuck all. Okay, whatever. All right. Uh, there's some right up 
here on this one. I could use something to drink. I know. So I'm getting it. The fuck? Did it trick me? Oh, it's here. Drink or die. Nice yeah, I'd rather clean. drink, thanks. Okay. Yeah, that did fuck all, but whatever. beans um oh right i forgot those mold torches also die out very quickly forgot about that so nope don't eat that better than starving I yes think. it is it is just take it do it doesn't give you a damn thing of food but uh, it's something actually i'm also going to go in here and do this because it's annoying Alright, we're pretty much full up. Right, I was gonna make the weevil shield. Need grub hide. Best place to find grub? Or an easy place to find? Actually, no. Because there's also a grub in there, I believe. The cave that I was gonna go into. So, by default, you can run for a very long time in this. Imagine if you had hyper stamina. You'd be able to run so far without any trouble in the world. Without a care in the world. This is really good. Ah, fuck it. I guess I'll use the spear. So then you can still block. Yeah, that bar right there. Whenever that hits full, you can't uh, block until you recover a bit. I'll just grab more of these Why as well. They are good. Oh, pebble. Heber, they changed it. It used to be the really good stuff. So I guess it would be better use just a normal torch. Yeah, and then it's just... Fellipers, that's not fair. What the hell? Okay. People in the comments be like, oh, who's going to tell him? Don't worry, people don't even comment on my stuff, so it's all good. Well, I get minimum comments. Holy shit! What in the hell is this? Well, this stuff I'm looking for is sturdy marble? So how do you repair things now? The hell? See, it's already gone. Son of a bitch. I don't have any... I don't have any of these. Alright, I guess I'll just make another one. Whatever. Um, and then shovel. Where are you? Yeah, so the grub are the grubs of the larva. So they're pretty gruesome if you're not careful. Well, they're larva anyway. You get a lot of sludge and hide from them. Damn. How much do I have now? Of each? Oh, and then the meat. So I got three hide and six of the sludge. Um. Oh, right. I haven't done any of this yet. Or I haven't gotten anything from it, I should say. Yeah, gear set bonus. That's cool. I don't remember this. Well, last time I played, they didn't even have these. Uh, If they did, it wasn't the effects that is currently on there right now. Oh, yeah. And then the... Scabby. Cool. Thanks, bud. Do -do -do. Obviously, a game, uh, a show that the soundtrack from this reminds me of a lot. Obviously, because of the time and stuff like that is Stranger Things. Uh, repair. Oh! So you actually just need the original resource for it to repair it, rather than the special rock. Oh. Okay. I've got thistles at home. I'm fine. That's the, uh, it's a waste to repair it now, though. So never mind. I won't do it yet. You could go in there, you could go in there, you. 
I got one sap. Hug. I see fucking grass move and I almost shit my pants. Anyway. All right. So how much? Forgot. It's in tools. Need two of them. I wonder if they'll eventually come out with more stuff. Because I mean, I know it's full release, but they're not going to stop updating it for whatever reason. They might add more stuff to it. There's probably going to be DLC with it. There could be. That'd be cool. Um, even if some people in certain communities and circles might feel like they don't need to. So you never know. All right. Damn it, it's one or the other. Shit. Well, I guess it makes the spear a little bit more handy. Let's just say that. But for now, I guess we'll put it in here. Same with the spear. I don't I don't use the spear all that much. In complete honesty, I just don't. All right, so we're a little better for either one attacking the ants or two one attacking the ants or two just going to the oak tree, the lab there. Oak lab if you would if you will. Oh. I should probably look at the instructions of how to do stuff. Never mind. I'm in Egypt. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so, now that I learned how to do that, let's investigate the oak tree. Is that just, I mean, I've also got some science points to spend on the plans that Burgle can give me. Either I can make two-story, you know, things, which I could do. I could have my cooking and stuff on top so people, so things don't climb through the fucking windows. If I don't want them to. Um, oh yeah, how do you actually make a clay foundation? I'm just wondering. And I have no idea how long I'm going to be playing this for. It's four clay for a certain size. I was going to say like a three by three. It's something. It's something. I don't know. Bro. Fucking dead, bro. That's cool. That his voice was muffled in the water. It's realistic. It's a fun touch. Stuff like that. But yeah. And, uh... I mean, like, yeah, I could stream on Twitch still because I'm an affiliate through them, so I could get, you know, paid from subs and things like that, which would be nice, but at the same time, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel, which one of the best ways to do that is actually doing it through the streaming platform um, and things like that, and it would be fun. I think it would be fun to have me, you know, go the grind on it and become the social person that I was before, you know, accidents back, you know, car accidents and things like that happened. But uh, anyway, water or substance, sustenance for drink. Um, on the way, we've got a couple of juice boxes we could actually hit up. So I'm going to do that. And I'm only using mushrooms for backup for food. That's why I'm not, that's why I didn't use them a whole lot. I originally wanted to get rid of them just so they're out of my inventory. But at the same time, they don't feed you a whole lot, but... It's it's a good supplement. For for better or for worse, it's a good supplement. Well, I mean, I guess there's just dew around here, so let's uh take that. And that, I guess. Cool. We're full up on everything. We get a bonus of some kind, I believe. Slow health regeneration has stopped your hunger from depleting for a while, and stamina. Regain stamina faster, so it's stamina regen. I'm guessing because of the water. Or the drink. Oh. Well, there's more grub. We might as well grab grub while we can. Cool. It's also the sludge is for something. I think it helps in smoothies or some shit like that. So, uh, that'll be a useful thing at some point. Uh, I enjoy this game a lot. It's so fun. It's easy to stay up on tip-top shape. At the beginning, it's a little frustrating because it's like, oh, no, or just, you know, just shit can happen in a bad way that you don't want it to happen. But uh, at the same time, it's just any game. That's how any game goes. Like Minecraft. Beginning always sucks because guess what? Nine time hits you before you know it and creepers are going to blow up your ass. So, you know. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The acorn bits. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm surprised that it took frickin', you know, four of them to pop pop them out. I w oh yeah, with flowers. Don't you get, like, perfume or something like that? Just able to change your scent or whatever from them? So that'd be neat. Also, I need to get a sap collector going. And water collector. And probably the garden patch, but, you know. Cool. Takes a little while, but it's worth it. Yeah, acorn bits. You can, uh make something out of it outside of just eating. I think, anyway. Or maybe you're able to analyze it, so who knows. Ah, okay. So we need to go that direction, which that really doesn't take us anywhere. Oh, luckily I caught on the side of that. Thank you. Yeah, it's just right in there, so I'm gonna do set spawn. Um, I could put a chest in there, but actually, if you want to be technical, they things don't actually attack chests, so you could have it in the open if you want. But since I'm around and about, I might as well make a s fire spit. Actually, getting this would be kind of cool. Need one more acorn shell and some clover. That's fine. It's it's a bigger chest, so it's easier to actually get stuff going on for it. Um, that. And then roasting spit. Go here. Need some pebbles and dry grass and shit. Okay, cool. So grabbing acorn shells are nice. Because then, that means I can actually repair my armor properly. Smoothie station. Construct. Put it there. Ingredients to mix. Smoothie type. Rub sludge? I mean, sure, I can. Does it sound that good? Honestly, not really. Grab the stack. Smoothie base options. Oh, so that's the one that I have for it. So, yeah. Recipe requirements. I don't know. Can you just add anything to it? Or does it have to be, like, specific shit? Sure. What is that? Questionable slop. Something, I guess. It heals. A hodgepodge of ingredients mashed into a mostly drinkable goop restores HP when consumed. So I'll keep a... Keep a bit of stuff on that. I need to get pebbles. Which, um... Should be pretty easy now that I've also got a hammer. So if there are any rocks and whatnot... Pe pebbles to make pebbles. I guess. Big rocks to make pebbles. Anyway, so... There's gotta be something around here to make it. some things a bit easier. And yeah, your thirst goes to hell down quick. So yeah, I guess, yes, the sludge is a base for your smoothie. Um, I'm... If I were to gather a guess, you'd probably be able to... Gather some more resources eventually at some time to get better smoothies for better results, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, no, I said we are going to go to the lab, but whatever. I'm experimenting. I'm having fun. I'm crafting shit. I love crafting in games like this. So that's kind of the main purpose of it all. Actually, you know what? I could be a complete dickbag and just block off this whole, like, this whole area just for me. Except for spiders, I think they can actually climb up. Can they climb up the trunks? I don't know. If they can't, that'd be cool. If they can, it'd make sense, but it would suck. Alright, so we need some dry grass. Which, it looks like there's a clump over there. And I'm being a bit more willy-nilly as far as where I go and what I do. Because, quite frankly, I'm defensible as hell. So I'm not really worried about it. Oh, 
that was a big chonk. It only counts as one, but it's it's a big chonk. All right, what other shit can I make? Weed stem. I'm sure I could find some weed stems here. Ah, uh, I think that's the second tier of weed right there. Usually it shows up in dry grass chunk areas. Where all those fuzzy bits are at, that's a potential weed stem that we can actually cut down. Ah, shit. Oh. Okay, good. Like, I understand there's, like, explosion stuff going on, but what was that? <laughs> See, the thing is that what throws me off a lot with the melee, melee combat in general is the whole thing of that whenever you swing, it moves you. So I always feel like I have to overcorrect for it, even though I actually don't have to. So it moves you to the side, and then, you know, you just keep going with that. So I don't want to go too far into stink bug territory again. Yes, sir. Not only because of the smell, it's because they would destroy my ass. Actually, I've never fought a stink bug with this armor on before, so I actually don't know how much damage it would do. Especially because of all of the, you know, bonuses you get from it and things like that. I have no idea. What was I looking for? Sap collector, right. Or sap catcher. Construct. I guess let's put it... Wrong angle. I guess there. Cool. And then you can just go up here and, uh... Collect when it collects. How to go to bed. Me thinks. Caution, you'll wake up at night. I think you could go back to bed unless you can only stay up till... Unless you can only sleep for eight hours and then not much else after that. Sun is coming up though, which is nice. Actually, no. The moon's still out. Never mind. It just looked brighter than it was before. So what about a water container? I swear to God, bird, if you pick me up, I'm going to be mad. Um, spoiled meat, right. So you've got to wait a little bit for that. That's fine. It'll be used to grow various things. Mushrooms are the easiest thing to come by this early on. But, you know. Um. Uh, it was water container. So I need two more shells and a clover leaf. Which I've got here. So actually, all this isn't as intuitive as I thought. I thought you'd be able to just pull it from the chest without having to actually resourcefully grab it yourself. But I was wrong. It's all right. Container is empty. Right, and then from here, I can grab my water container and fill it up. And then I could just consume it right out of the thing, I think. Oh, man. Let's actually explore this thing, like I've said for the last half hour. I know there's spiders about. And in crevices of the tree. But uh, I'm confident in my abilities because... Oh, I'm thirsty all of a sudden? The hell? Alright, let's see if we can find something down here, I guess. <sighs> Ominous music, for damn sure. Maybe yeah, we could get flower petals from around here. One of these areas, there is actually a legit spider just chilling, so... I'm gonna try to be careful with that. And I guess... Might as well eat this kind of shit. Sorry. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. Alright. In the comments down below, let me know who does or doesn't like Brussels sprouts. I enjoy them if they're cooked right. Like, uh, pan-seared and cooked with, like, mushrooms isn't... I mean, oh, mushrooms and onions, I guess. It's pretty good. Alright, cool. Yep. Pick this up. Nope. It's just part of the scenery. I'm gonna pick up the sap, though. I remember spiders being in there, so I'm just gonna duck in here for a bit. Um, 
Might as well make more of these. Fucking why not? So it looks like fiber bandages could also be placed in other things. According to the can also be crafted with or is in. So if they've added more stuff in here, I would not know. It'd be cool if you could go in there, but I guess it's just so wrecked you can't. Those Pete? You alright? Do you have a stroke? Okay. So this is a little different. I guess that was always there. There used to be a burgle thing there. Or the, uh... Oh wow, this is very different actually. Really? Okay, I kind of liked the puzzle though. The puzzle was fun. Unpowered, huh? Well, how do you get power to it? I guess let's do that. I liked the little puzzle thing, but... Boost juice. Interesting. I don't know what the point of that is. Let's look. Get your craft, I guess. Boost juice. Filled with vitamins and nutrients, boost your max stamina. So it's max stamina and heals, while this one does max health and heals, and this one increases attack and heals. Okay, that's cool. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They Wendell, appear to right. be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle. Please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Hmm. Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. That's funny because it's raw. Haha, ha. I get it. That must be the burgle tape that I saw before, and you could do that kind of thing. So I'm so from the looks of this here, and that's saying unpowered, but assuming you could power it up again. Um you can fix the lab? Question mark? Oh. Cheers very much. I don't know why you'd have so much sap outside of healing. And I guess a little bit of construction as well. So, air contamination, critical security lockdown in effect. So, areas. Black anthill. There is a black ant hill. Yeah, okay. The hedge. What else is there? Show me. Show me. Can you control these at all? Nope. The pond, naturally. Doesn't look like you can change anything on here. What is there, though? The haze? Ooh, is that like an underground, like... Oh, interesting. Lab 3. Lab 4. So there are multiples of these kinds of... Uh, things. So, okay. Hear me out. I'm not sure if... Oh. Anyway, the voice of Dr. Wendell, I think his name was, reminds me of the voice from the dude... I forgot his name. Shit. From uh, Outer Worlds? Is it out? Yeah, Outer Worlds. The old guy that you talked to at the beginning. I think he's that, the same voice actor. It sounds very similar anyway. I get, I get voices can mixed up all the time. All right. Embigen test 45, category non-organics. Date, uh, July 1st of 89. I wasn't even born then. Uh, time, 7.31 a.m. Cell volume, blah, milliliters. Raw science power, uh, 76.5. Uh, 
something jewels maybe i don't know uh spacer input blah milliwatts subject a box of scab devices location tolly backyard okay supervising scientist dr wendell tolly pre-test notes after successful miniaturization of a single complex electronic device test 44 test 45 will attempt to shrink one full box of the devices upon embiggening embiggening uh, subjects will be inspected and tested to ensure proper functionality. Results failure, miniaturization successful, but embiggening and further testing is impossible at the moment. Subject was confiscated by a curious honeybee. Recovery unlucky. Box obliterated. Miniature scabs are certainly stuck in every nook and cranny of the yard. Cool shit. Where was the attacking robot? Sounds like he might be down here. I kept hearing uh, metal chinging. A scientific breakthrough. Five hundred. Damn. Yeah, it's a lot. Damn. Little help, please. Yeah, don't worry. I'll help. So I'm guessing this is to the black ant hill, maybe. Anyway, Let me try to help. I'll help you. Sure. Chat with Burgle. So you're the hamburger flipping bot. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. Or that. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. My first time playing, so it's not sure that this disorienting. Disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Sure was. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. Yeah, it is. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Uh, where you am I? You are here, in the Oak Lab. Built and used by Dr. Wendell Tadelli to experiment on all things small. So does that mean he was small, or that he is small himself? I haven't gotten that far into the story. I've only literally come up to here and then I've just explored and... This just did shit. The base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. You know, doing objectives and side quests, not the main quest itself, because that's what everybody does. How come I can't remember anything? It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. Sure. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent pending. Sure. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully your memory will return in time. My tiny, tiny human brain. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet either. I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Okay. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. Yeah, didn't we use it though? suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. Right, so we used the platform that Burgle was talking about, but it exploded and all that I kind of stuff. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Can we fix it? Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea. 
Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing. Right. Processing. Nothing. Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. So we have to find that particular... Because I remember you had, you had to go and find, like, Burgle memory chips, essentially. Uh, and I think that's, like, one of the numbers or whatever, and we Arr, can make that happen. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without sure. those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Right. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Ooh, Super that'd be nice. chips are special, and they are gold. They back up full directories of my memory system. All right, that's a new system that I'm not if familiar with. If we are with. going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Right. Return with any memory chips you find. There are other labs? What? Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout Doesn't the surprise me. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Stand by. A uh, scabby. I just call it scab because it Processing. makes sense. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks, too. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. The, the hedge, hedge lab. lab. Right. Is that the one where you actually go up like... I mean, it's not a tree, but it's really tall anyway. The and there are like spiders all the over the place. I don't remember. Yard. And used for research on arachnid webbing. Ah, there we you go. Will find yeah. The hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge. Sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over right. to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you okay. are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers too. Cool. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes. Quests. Quests. I will okay. reward you raw science for each completed quest. So that's still a thing. They just added more word, In my more things shop, to it. You can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. All right. Ugh. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips. And try not to die out there. Have an Thanks, exponentially bud. great day. All right, cool. Um, so we could continue with that, but I'm actually just going to leave the episode there. Um, yeah, I really love this game. It's a lot of fun. They're they've added a lot more stuff to it, obviously, since it's uh now um fully accessed and everything like that. Let's make a new save. If uh, people want to see more of this, I can make more of an actual thing, like series out of it and stuff like that. So if you did enjoy it, like at the uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, please like uh, and also comment uh, if you'd like to see more of this just in general. I'll probably just keep with the same save because there's no reason of restarting it. It's not like new updates, so you have to restart the game all over again because of corrupted saves and files and whatnot. And anything like that. But anyway, yeah. Thanks y'all for watching and everything like that. Uh, for right now, in the description, I will have links to where you can get this game. It is on Game Pass. Also, you could buy it on Xbox. Uh, I think it's... I don't know. I'm not sure if it's a Microsoft game or whatever. If it's on the PlayStation Store, I'll, I'll put the link down there too, maybe. And also Steam epic games wherever it may be so whatever you want to use for a platform you'll be able to have access to that 
And also, I will have my Patreon. Um, once again, life has been going in a certain direction that's a little bit different than what I even planned from two weeks ago. That's why I haven't been recording all that much. It's just... It's different. But I'll have a separate video kind of explaining my thoughts on recent stuff in that and also what's going on, what I'm doing, stuff like that. So you'll be updated and all that kind of stuff. But I do have a Patreon, so if you feel generous and want to, you know, help out a little bit with what I do, uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.